Hey guys, TLG here with a little something special. I uh, decided to tackle the breeding for chocobos in Final Fantasy VII, and uh, I made this little video to show you how you could also get the uh, gold chocobo, the golden chocobo, I guess, the gold chocobo, um, which is able to travel on water, on everything. It's just able to go anywhere, over rocks, on water, up mountains. It's just the, it's basically the beast of all travel. So. Um, that you need this in order to get a lot of the secret, like, high-end stuff that they have hidden throughout the Final Fantasy world. Um, like the Knights of the Round Table or the Quadra Magic or the Quadra Cast or the, the, the Quadra Materia. Um, but yeah, so basically, uh, this video following this little intro will show you how to get the, uh, Gold Choke Bow. Alright. Hey guys, alright, so basically you want to go to a really, the really far northern continent and go to this little green area right down here. Um, what it's going to do is you're going to fight these big dragons called Vlacrodoses. And uh, basically you're just up here to steal some nuts for breeding, which is, you're stealing nuts for breeding. Um, these guys right here. Uh, so you're just going to steal it from them. You're, you really, fighting these guys is a pain because they have like 30,000 health. So basically, you're just here to, to steal from them, um, and they're, it's basically almost every single time you steal, you're going to get it, but you only get one per per uh, dragon thing, so yeah, there's they're, they're some fun to fight, but you're going to want to get four of those. Um, you're going to want to make sure you also have a lot of money for when you go to the, the Chocobo farm, because you're going to want to go and rent all six of their stalls, which is, is what I'm doing right now. Uh, you gotta just go talk to the grandpa, he's gonna tell you a story if you haven't really talked to him and you're on like the, the end of disc two, I think I'm on. Um, and yeah, he's telling, telling you a little story, but you're gonna want to rent all six, and it's about 10,000 per, so you're gonna want at least 60,000, then you're gonna need a whole bunch more for uh, some greens to make racing easier, which we'll get to in a little bit. Um, but yeah, you just click, take care of my chocobos, he tells you about the whole stalls, and yeah, so... To start off our list, I guess, you're going to need a lot of money, which I will show you later on how to get a lot. If you're, if you're about here, you should probably have this weight able to make this much money. I'll, sh I'll show you. <laughs> you're going to want to get four four of those carob nuts. Uh, you really only needed three, but um, it's always better to get four in case you mess up. And you're going to want to at least have a couple slots open on your memory card for saving just like backup saving because it, it, it's very angering if you accidentally mess up and you save over it yeah um, you're gonna want a lot of time also because it's a kind of a, a tricky little method you have to do it's not really tricky it's just it's long and it's tiring and if you take a break in between you may forget what you just did so um, you want a, a decent amount of time it took me a long time because the maturing part of the chocobos is, is really annoying. Uh, but after you rent all six of those, um, I guess we, there's one more spot we gotta go. Is this island over here called Goblin Island. It's way off on the right, upper right up there. You can see the uh, the northeast. Uh, you just land here, run around in the forest for a little bit until you get the goblins. Um, luckily, I get them the first time, and this is what they look like. Um, these ones are a little bit harder to steal from. They, they're often... Uh, unable to steal from this guy or some of the sorts um but yeah it's uh you're looking for the uh z-e-i-o the zio nut which are actually only able to be stolen from these guys and this is what you're actually going to need in order to uh breed the gold chocobo so you, you're definitely going to want to make sure you want this and uh you can also get the goblin punch here which is actually a really nice enemy skill because it doesn't use any any MP, so it, it's just basically a free attack, and it gets about a thousand. So, um, and I, I believe we get it like this next time. Yep, there we go. That's what you're looking for right there, and we'll just take them out. Um, we're almost getting to the fun part. <laughs> All right, so then you're gonna to want to fly to the far northern continent again here and look for this little tiny green area. It's the uh, the Chocobo Sage's house. If you've never been here, he's just right up there. He's right by the crater that Sephiroth went into, and he also tells you a little story. He has no idea what his name is, and uh, 
Yeah, but you basically you want to come here with a decent amount of money because each of the things you're buying is actually 5,000 each. And you need, I, I use a lot. You're gonna want quite a few, but while you're grinding for the chocobos, you're actually gonna get quite a bit of money. But I only buy seven here because I use them to uh, to catch the chocobos, which um, it, it, you can use those. You can also use the Regan ones if you want, because uh, these are really expensive. But uh, what it does is when you're giving them to them as feed, after you catch them, um, it raises all of their stats, like their speed, their intelligence, and their I think something else. In speed, intelligence, and stamina. But, alright, uh, I just totally missed where you're supposed to go there. You want to go to the west of Medeal on the very southern continent there. And uh, you want to make sure you have the chocobo lure attached, and basically just run on the uh, chocobo footprints. To uh, get your chocobos, I actually threw the chocobo lure back up on top of Cloud. I don't, I don't know if it makes a difference if it's on your head, like the main guy or not, but I threw it up there. And oh, somehow it switched all the chocobos. <laughs> you do not want to get this chocobo. These little guys right there, don't get that one. What you're looking for is the chocobo with two of those guys right there. They. Uh, wait. called Spencer's. Yep, sorry, I was reading. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm angry right there because I missed it. <laughs> um, you want to get those guys. Basically, you want to make... I'm totally falling behind here. You want to make sure that you get the Silka screens at the top of your list because you couldn't get the item in time for him to run away. And don't be safe. you got to be cautious even though we, when you use this green... I'm, I fail here too because this Chocobo, he eats it and instantly is done. The times on them are ridiculous. He's gonna run, yep, and he runs away still. Um, you're gonna wanna throw him. Don't be so shy to use those. <laughs> I got so angry here with the whole thing that I didn't have it at the top, and then, uh, luckily these ones, these are the great, the great ones you're getting right now. This is the, uh, the spot to get the great chocobos, which I'm... Yeah, I am, I am falling behind here, and I'm hoping you guys are just keeping up with it. Right now, we're catching the great chocobos, and you're going to want to throw the silka screens out like they're absolutely just trash. Just make sure that chocobo is always eating, because if he runs away, you just wasted the 5,000, and it's better to waste another 5,000 to catch your chocobo. But we finally got one, <laughs> and we're going to... Uh, normally, when you get off it, if you don't have a stall, it just runs away, but basically, you just want to get off it, and it'll pop up and say, do you want to send it to the stall or the stable, or do you want to let it loose? So you want to send it to the stable. Um, usually you want to catch two or three, but right about now, I think I just shoot right back to see what it's like. And you run in, and this time you actually talk to the grandson. And if when you go to the grandson, if you look at moving chocobos, it will then show you the list of chocobos, and if where well, I only have one right now, but if you had three or four, you'd be able to go. And you want to look for this is a great chocobo, or if you're looking for a good one, this is a good chocobo, or this chocobo is running happily. Those are the things you want to look for. But this is a great chocobo means it's a great one. You want to put it in your stable, and then you find out what gender it is. Like this one's a male, great chocobo. So. For this sake, you really don't need to think creative with your names. If you want to, you can, if you plan on keeping a couple of them. But um, for the sake of breeding them, I just named mine Great M. Apparently, my, my, my little controller wanted to screw all up, and it's a good <laughs> But Great M for Great Male. Um, so that just saves it for when I'm trying to like, breed and raise, etc. And you want to do the same thing for females, this great F and whatnot. So, uh, I believe I just teleport back. Yep, see, so I just went and got myself another one, and this one's a female. I actually had to go through like three of them in order to get the female. So you just want to go and make sure you have one of each gender, um, male and female. And just name them accordingly. I feel like I was in the wrong spot there. Um, th those are... I want to say those weren't Spencers, because the Spencers are supposed to be for the good 
choke boards that you're getting. But for the good ones, you want to go to the golden saucer and just come off on this little outlet island over here. Not the island, but like the peninsula. And you want to just run on these tracks over here over by the gold saucer. Uh, and you will get the, the good ones where you want to get something with those little fish things in the front. You want to make sure you get those ones. Oh, and did I just attack? No, I threw that. <laughs> but I just attacked Jokebo because I did that a lot in the little run. Um, basically, if it doesn't have those fish in the front or uh, flat beats, I think, in the back, then it's not going to be a good chocobo, it's just going to be a regular chocobo, which is not good for the breeding sake. So you want to stay here and get a couple of them because you do want to make sure you get a male and a female. And these ones, the good ones, actually stay a lot longer and are a whole lot easier to get. See, if you're right there, see, this seems like a good chocobo, and then the other one seems average. You don't want the average one. You want the ones that seems like a good chocobo. But, like I was saying, those chocobos actually stay there longer and are able, you're able to kill the, the enemies before they run away so you don't actually have to use and waste your silica screens because they come a lot so, blah, blah, blah. they come a lot more frequent. Um, and as you can see with this, I'm naming this one Good Female or Good F and that's just to differentiate between the good and greats. I believe I got myself a male here now. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, I was. If you do get doubles of something, you actually have to save them into your stall. And because you were just trying to find out what they were. And this one is also a female. So I, you can just name them something separate. Or in my sake, I usually from that point on just name them Choco. And then just immediately went and released them. Because you only want one of each of the Chocobos. Like one of the. Uh, Males great, one of the females great, one of the males good, and one of the females good. Uh, unfortunately, you do actually have to put them in your stalls if you try to move them and just to see their gender. Uh, but like here, I got the male now finally, and throw him in there, good male. But you are able to just release them, and you can release them uh, before looking at their gender, like before putting them in your stall, if like they aren't great or good, if they're just like some lazy and dwaddling and you don't want it at all. But right here is where you want to go if you want to get a lot of money. I'm sure by this point you have a couple mastered alls. I have like seven of them. So I just went and sold one for 1,400,000 gil, which is way more than I would ever need. Like I, I can show you I have alls and every all then born or like gives birth to a new all. So they just, they're easy to do. and. While you're grinding for chocobos, I'm going to say this now, to also get money and to grind up your materia, throw somebody crap in. As here I am releasing my, my female. But uh, throw somebody crap in that has a triple AP weapon and just throw some of your materia on them, like an all and a restore or an all and whatever you want to level up. Because while you're fighting all the enemies around the chocobos, even if you're not getting the chocobos you want, you're still building up a lot of AP. So that's something you can actually do while you're working. So you're actually grinding while doing something you want to do. Um, what I'm... Why, why am I going? What are you doing? Go back. <laughs> what I'm doing here is I'm actually feeding them five Silka screens each. Um, you really... That's all you really need to give them in order to get what you need out of it. You can give them less, you can give them more. Uh, I just, by the time, you, if you sold your all, you should have enough money to give them as much as you need. But for the, the sake of what we need to do right now, only give them five each because they, uh, they're just racing up to class B. Right now we're about to go race them up, up a couple classes and uh, in the future you'll have to race them up to class A, which is you'll want to give them more more feed and those cost a lot and which is why we sold our all um here i am feeding all of them which isn't really needed but all right then after you feed them all five all four of them you're gonna want to go to the golden saucer and go up to the the race the chocobo racing and you talk to esther over here on the left in the pink and uh you just race them up. You basically, you can choose either the long or the short. What I do is I just do two longs and one short, and it automatically boosts it up to the next one. It only takes three races to get up to the next rank. So um, right now I'm just racing one as a, a C rank, and three of them will get up to a, a 
B rank, and uh, I don't think I show you. Yep. Basically, I have an auto mode, and I, I'm saving a couple spots here because I got a little worried, but um, the automatic way that it runs is good enough for you. Like, I, I have won by 30 seconds just having it run for me. So, <laughs> yeah. But you want to make sure you save and have a backup save before you come and do the mating because if you mate it and all of a sudden you get two of the same gender, well, then you're screwed. So you want to go back out and then mate them again. And what we're doing right now after getting all four of them to class B is we're going to cross mate them. So what you're going to do is do a great female with a good male, which is what I'm doing right here. Um, you go up and just see what they are by talking to them because that's how you have to mate them. So you just do a good male with a great female and you give it a carob nut and that should get you the green chocobo and then you do the good female and the great male to get the blue chocobo and you both do both of those with the carob nuts. So you just go up talk to the two you want. He asks you what nut. You want to make sure you use the carob nut. I don't even really want to imagine what's happening right now for those two. <laughs> and we got ourselves a new chocobo. So we got us the blue one, actually, which is which is kind of weird that we got the blue one from uh, the male and female. Like, the good female and the great male, but... I usually just name them. When you get to the colors, it's also, we're not going to be having that as anything special, so I'm just naming it Blue, uh, I believe it's Male. What I got? It's Blue Moo. Blue Male. This is a little glitch I found with the, uh, the PC version for some strange reason. When you, oh, I guess it was a female, but when you, uh, click and move over, sh like, too fast after clicking, it also puts the next letter, and it's, it's annoying. We'll just do the other two here. It's nice that they do put in a lot of menus that say, are you sure? Is this what you want? Are you sure? Because like when you're about to release one, it's like, are you sure? But when you're about to ride one, they're like, this is when you ride. And then it just gives it to you. Not like, are you sure you want to ride this one? So it does kind of stop you and it's something extra, but all right. So see, I got a green chocobo here, a green female one. And uh, I, I think I just re-ran it and I got the, uh, the male then. And what you're going to do then is feed each of them 10 You'll be able to see here, I got a blue female now and a, a green male, so I ended up having to redo it, which is a good reason why you want to save before you go in there, because I would have been screwed having two females. Um, but yeah, I just go in, I give them 10, you can give them 15, but 10 is all you really need, because you're, you're just running these ones up to class A, which is still good with just the automatic, which is nice. Um... Something nice you don't really realize about it until you actually get in the race. If you do the long races, you actually have to go through the section of water where you get slowed down if you're in any other chocobo that isn't like a water, like one that can go through it or over it or under it, whatever, um, which the green one actually can. So when you get to that water section, that green one doesn't slow down at all. It just is right through it and it, it gives you a massive lead, which is kind of nice. And the black chocobo is actually able to do that too. But basically what you're doing now is you're just raising all of the blue and the green to class A. There's only two of them, but I don't know, all of them. Um, which is basically at six races each. You just do two, four short, two, two, or four long, two short. I don't know if the short and long will actually differentiate if you just do three short. I don't really know. I never wanted to test it. I just said I found my, my system and I went. Um, after racing, you want to come back here. And I believe that this is where I fail. Yep. If you don't have enough stables, you actually have to release them. So I started releasing all my good ones, my good and greats. Because you only have six stables, so you actually can't mate a new one. Um, another bad thing is, if you try and mate chocobos after they're like within a short period of time after you just mated other ones and you got those ones like i 
couldn't mate the green and the blue one for a while and it it really kind of bugged me because I had no idea what I was supposed to be doing. <laughs> like, how do I waste time enough to remember to come back and do this? Um, I'm just releasing the goods, the good ones. Um, I don't know if he tells me right now. I believe he tells me right now that I actually can't. Yep, shouldn't mate those that just made it or those that were just born. So I actually cannot mate them yet. So what I did is I just decided to run back to the golden saucer and I did the uh, the battle square and came back. So I tried. I got the omni slash actually and came back, which is it's a nice way to waste time. A lot of time actually. I sat there for like an hour and a half, two hours trying to get the omni slash. I kept getting really bad roulette rolls. But then when you come back, you can mate them finally. If he lets you choose, then you know you're in the clear. And you just want to do your your green and your blue. And um, I say this again, I do not want to stress it enough. Don't over, don't save over your stuff. Like save before you came in here and do not save over your stuff until you are sure that you have a male and a female that you can then use. And as you see, but it's out there. I was having saving issues and it was really quite angering. I actually lost two hours of game footage because it wouldn't save it. And <laughs> the whole process of this video right here took me a good seven, eight hours because of all the waiting and the, yeah. But, so this is our black chocobo, actually. So with the green and blue, you actually get a black one. So we've got a black female. So uh, again, it's not anything you really need to keep special. It's uh, it's not like you're gonna keep it forever. If you were, it is your only one, so you don't actually have to name it black female, but it's good to know that it is a female because that means you are going to have to catch a wonderful male, which was my curse. It hated me so much when I had to do that. And <laughs> yeah, so basically what you also want to do is you want to go to the Golden Saucer and race that Black Chocobo up to a... Uh... Oh, I forgot to come back. Yeah, I want to make sure you feed it too. You want to feed it 15, 15 uh, Silcus Greens. I got 50 of them. I bought some. <laughs> um, but you want to go to the Golden Saucer and race it up to an A-Class also. Um, which it does it really doesn't get hard at all until you get up into the actual eight classes where you have to race against another black chocobo with an actual rider who will beat you your stats no matter what they are his will always be a little bit higher so you actually have to put it down to how you race and it, it's it's angering because he he's a jerk but yeah just racing up to class a with my black female Two longs, one short, and you're gonna get up there. And you can see there, I was just scrolling through them. You could see how different the, like, the speeds and everything I had versus the others were. All right, and now to get the wonderful, you wanna go to the Northern Continent and look at these snow footings over here on the left side of it, the west side. And you wanna fly over, since you can't land in the snow, you wanna land on this little grassy area and run over there. And with these ones, you do not want to catch any chocobos unless it only has the jumpings, which are those rabbits. Do not catch the ones that have any wolves at all. No wolves. If you catch one with wolves, then it's going to be an awful chocobo. If you catch with just one rabbit and just a chocobo, then you're in the clear. But if you catch one with a wolf at all, you're screwed. <laughs> I kept getting females over and over and over again. And yes, I know the audio is behind a little bit, and I, I'm sorry about that. I don't, it, my computer was, I told you it took seven hours to get all this footage, and I, I think at some point it got a little, a little stressed and kind of fell a little behind. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so I sat here for a good hour and a half getting these stupid chocobos. <laughs> Um, I think I just, yeah, just run back. You do only need one, though. You only need one, and that's all you, like, to make it. And I think here I'm actually showing you all my stupid freaking female ones, because I forgot that I had a male, or a female, uh, black one. I'm releasing my greats now because I don't have enough room. I had enough room, but I needed more room in order to bring all of them in instead of just one at a time, then release them one at a time. So, you don't need your greats now. You can get rid of them if you want. Um, 
because we're really close now to getting our gold chocobo, which is kind of nice. Welcome. Yes, why I'm just sitting there saying welcome. This is a wonderful chocobo, so that's what he'll say for all the wonderful ones. And look at this, I had four, I think four wonderfuls, or maybe three, I don't remember how many I got. I think I only had three, but yeah, so I put it in, and oh look, it's a female. And the next one was a female, and the next one's a female. I was like, no. Oh. I didn't know what to name them here because you can't fit Wonder F or Wonder M, so I just put like abbreviated Wonder F because you had another one you don't actually need to keep. Um, but luckily, by the time you could actually go and catch a wonderful one, and see, here's here's where I found out that I had a, a black female. Um, by the time you catch a wonderful one and you raise your black one up to class A, it's actually ready to mate, but. You don't actually have to wait around as long as you had to before. If if you get lucky and get like the one you need on the first try, then you might need to wait a little bit. But I, <laughs> I was not that lucky. <laughs> I tried. I just named this one Release, and I realized, you know, why am I naming them? I think the next one I just leave is Choco. And, hey, look, it's a female. <laughs> uh, oh, look. All right. So we finally got the male again. And uh, let's throw that in there as Wunderm. <laughs> And now you actually have to feed this one and then run all the way back and uh, get that one up to class A also. Uh, this one, I actually, I think I fed it more. I think I fed this one 23 just because I didn't feel like it was actually going to be as good as the black one or the green one. So I gave it a little more. You really don't need to. I say about 15, you're fine. Um, but yeah, you just want to go and race up to class A. So that's what you want to do now, is just race up to Class A. And here you go, guys. I, I saved again right there. You want to save before you go in, because here is the moment of truth. It's Class A male. Class A black female. And now you want to just mate them, mate those two together with the Zionut, and things happen. <laughs> Dun -dun -dun -dun! Gold Chocobo unlocked. <laughs> oh. That took forever. You yeah, have no idea. <laughs> and there you go, guys. You got yourself a gold chocobo, which uh, you can actually name this one what you want to name it, because this is your, going to be your baby. You're gonna, you're gonna love and cherish this chocobo forever till death do you part. Okay. So I had no idea what to name it. I decided I was just gonna go and uh, name it it's what I used to name it way back when. Bon bon. It's my bon bon. But there you go, guys. You uh, are then able. <laughs> I was excited. I was a little excited when I when I finally had that happen. Um, you guys are able to just take them out and go for a ride, whatever you want, and take them out on the water, mountains. 
into the airship, actually. You can just take them in there, you can fly them wherever you need to go. But here's my Bonbon, bon, which I need to go race him up to class, class S. I want to get him up. Yeah, there he is. It's your gold chocobo, which is awesome. <laughs> I hope this wasn't uh, too rushed, and I hope you guys could follow along. Um, I'll put some of the important information down at the bottom if you need it to know or need it to know, need to know it. Mm -hmm.